In this video, I'm going to be highlighting column reordering in data flows. This is especially useful when you want to union two data sets and need to make sure that the corresponding columns in the source data sets are located in the same position because we do union by position in data flows. And this feature is also useful when you want to arrange the order in which your columns appear in your output data set. I've added two data sets to this data flow that I would like to union. However, there are certain columns among the data sets that are not in the same position, such as birth date, credit rate, and order date. Before I union these two data sets, I'm going to drag over the select column step and reorder a few columns from that second data set. You can reorder a column by dragging the column using those horizontal bars. You can also use an action menu and move the column up or down, and then you can also use these up and down arrows. Now I'm going to select birth date and credit rate, which are two adjacent columns, and I'm going to move those to the left using the up arrow. At this point, the columns in the source data sets are in corresponding positions and my union will work as expected. I'm adding a select column step again to do some additional rearrangement of my columns so that they're in the desired order in my output data set. In this case, I'm moving the order key columns so that it's located near the rest of the columns related to order information. I'm adding a save data step to save my data in the form of a new data set and I'm giving that a name. So I'm naming it customer orders 2013 and 2014. I'm now going to save the data flow and run the data flow to produce my output data set. I've opened the output data set and verified that the columns are in the right order and the correct information is present.